Welcome to Luxor, Egypt. In this dry desert landscape lies the Valley of the Kings. Over 3,000 years ago, the ancient Egyptian pharaohs from the New Kingdom were buried here in rock-cut tombs, including King Tutankhamun. They were sealed shut and never to be found until the 19th and 20th century. What we're about to explore was never meant to be seen by mortals. Let's go check it out. Bright and early, we're going to the Valley of the Kings. It's 5 a.m. Wakey, wakey. Yeah. <laughs> to get to the Valley of the Kings, we drive 45 minutes from Luxor to the east bank of the Nile. Along the way, we catch a glimpse of the sunrise and the hot air balloons. Look at the balloons. Look at that amazing view and run for the balloons. We are at the Valley of the Kings, the most expensive archaeological site. We are going inside King Tut's tomb. It costs an extra 300 Egyptian pounds, but you can see his mummy. Here is King Tut's tomb. Ramses II had 92 children, and the tombs are all spread out over here. Wow. It looks like a normal mountain, but it's not. Here is King Tut's tomb. He died at age 19. And you can see his mummy inside. Imagine uncovering this tomb and seeing this with the gold mask, the famous mask. We're inside King Tut's tomb. His mummy is behind us. And then over here are the carvings. This is the mummy of King Tut. So the colors came from a mix of natural stones and flowers. So this right here is King Tut's tomb. We're going up. <laughs> Climbing out of the tomb. Oh my god. So we just reached Tutankhamun's tomb. We went down this corridor into the chamber. It was maybe like a thousand square feet or something. And his burial was right here with all of his treasures. But a lot of it isn't here. It's in the Manchester Museum. Going through another tomb. Our guide was saying these were not built by slaves, but actual workers. And they found evidence on the papyrus that the workers asked for increase in wages and they had worker strikes. But the hardest job here was finding the area to build the tomb because they had to cut into this immense stone and then after that they had to dig then they had to do the bas relief carvings which is very labor intensive and then the paintings and our guide was saying his theory as to how they got robbed was the workers because they knew where things were and it makes sense because they're pretty hidden here we're about ready to go into another tomb. Look at the colors, so well preserved down here. And this area was excavated in the 1800s. What an incredible discovery. Here is the tomb. Through the long corridor, we reach the burial chamber of King Ramses IV. Inside, the chamber is filled with brightly colored scenes depicting the Book of the Dead, which deals with the judgment of the afterlife. Ooh, we found the buried treasure. This is awesome. All these carvings. I just exited Ramses V's tomb. I'm like in awe. It was incredible just this long corridor filled with drawings and paintings this is a massive area here on the west bank of the nile right outside of the city of luxor this is ramses v's tomb look at how steep this one is incredible bas relief all the details 
details on this, even the feathers, the painting, the wings, the eyes. Now it's time to go down into one of the deepest, darkest tombs in the Valley of the Kings. Carried way down below. All right, we're still going down slowly but surely, but what's really incredible about this one is the color. The color is so well preserved, and our guide said that it, they used a mixture of stone and flowers ground up, and then they sealed it with egg whites. Right here is the sarcophagus, just massive block of stone. What's over here? Oh, it's the covering covering of the stone. All right, we've reached the sarcophagus here behind us. We're in this cave. Mike, what do you think? It's so cool. It's really incredible. It's very stuffy in here, though. This is the inside. Wow. I want to go in here so badly. Would you explore the secret parts of this tomb, or do you think it's cursed by the mummy? Comment below. Okay, so the tomb we just went into was called Marin Pata. And the reason why the carvings were not finished in his tomb area, in his sarcophagus, is because he died before it could be finished. Imagine how many tombs are still left below our feet. This is Ramses III. This one probably has the best carvings and paintings I've seen yet. The colors are just impeccable. So our guide was saying that the reason why there's snakes down here is because these are the otherworldly creatures that will greet you in the afterlife that you have to combat in the 12 gates of the afterlife 12 meaning the 12 hours of night i told you it would be all right <laughs> it's all dark down there i want to go through there so badly <laughs> After you make it through the 12 gates of the afterlife, you're greeted by Osiris, the god of the afterlife, who defeated evil Seth. He looks like an alien. He's got green skin and a blue head. He looks like a Star Wars character. And then look at this guy right here with the horns. Scary. All right, so it's nearing about 11 o'clock now, and as you can see behind me, there's tons of people. All the tourists came here, um, so get here early. And the second thing is, we noticed that this was the best preserved of any of the sites we've been to so far, probably because it was discovered so late, but there was no graffiti or anything inside the tombs. Please, Next, we check out how the local craftsmen make beautiful alabaster jars, similar to the ones found in the tombs, before heading to Hatshepsut's temple. This is Hatshepsut's temple. It looks modern. So Hatshepsut showed herself in the form of a man in order to become the pharaoh. Hatshepsut was the longest reigning female pharaoh in Egypt. She was depicted as male to assert her authority. We have made it to Hatshepsut's tomb. Hatshepsut. Temple of Hatshepsut. Temple. Look at how tall these mountains are. Super imposing. Let's go inside. Mike's doing the mummy pose. Carved right into this rock. So the importance of this temple is that it was built for a woman by Hatshepsut, and she ruled on her own. We went inside and there's a lot of corridors in there. Beautiful painting. This is called the mission to Somalia. This is when Hatshepsut conquered the Horn of Africa.
We hope that you enjoyed this mysterious look into ancient Egypt and the afterlife here at the Valley of the Kings. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe because coming up next, we have more videos on ancient Egypt.